Hi, my name is Trevor with Embers Fireplaces and Outdoor Living. What we're showing you today is Napoleon's uh, Dynamic Heat Control System. We want to talk about this new technology that they have. Uh, it's going to be a standard feature on the Luxuria Fireplace and an option on the Vector Series that can be installed later. Now, what is Dynamic Heat Control? Basically, with uh, all the new uh, fashion trends that we see, a lot of the aesthetics trends, is a lot of people want wood around their fireplace. Now, in most cases, this has always been impossible because we had so much heat coming off the front of the fireplace. We would typically have to use non-combustibles like tile, uh, concrete board, stone, that type of thing to go tight to the fireplace. Well, Napoleon has found a way to get rid of that. And we can do wood tight to the fireplace. We can take a television as tight to the fireplace as we want. And we're going to have cool to the touch system using dynamic heat control. So how do they accomplish this? Basically, what we do is instead of the heat coming off the front of the unit, we use the dynamic heat control system to divert the heat off the top of the unit and to escape into the cavity. But this can present some install challenges that we wanted to go over with you. Because this, these are heating units, the heat has to go somewhere. So we can't trap the heat inside the cavity because that would create a fire hazard. So we want to talk about different install options. If you wanted a cool to the touch system, to be able to safely uh, run the dynamic heat control system. So again, like we said, we can't just keep the heat trapped inside the cavity. So we have to create a vent. You can see here we have a vent out in front of the unit and that's gonna naturally create enough airflow to keep the heat from building up inside the fireplace. Or you can see here on this side, what we've done is we haven't built the wall all the way tight to the ceiling. What this does is it allows heat to escape out the front. So that's an option. Another option, we can do this setup and then build a cantilever out in front to hide the fact that we're not going all the way to the ceiling, which will again create appropriate airflow. Another option is going to be to have the heat release out in the room behind the fireplace as long as the door isn't sealed off. Now, this is a very important step and one that is critical to the installation of these fireplaces and must be done by a professional. Because again, like we said, we're taking the heat from away from the front of the unit and it's going inside the wall behind the fireplace in the cavity. If this step is not done properly, you will have a fire hazard. So that's why it's so important. And the units are, do come standard with a high limit switch, which is gonna manually shut down the unit. But again, we wanted to, the purpose of this video is to one, show you how the dynamic key control system works, what type of install you're gonna be dealing with, but most importantly is safety. Anytime we're installing a fireplace, we want to make sure we do it appropriately and we want to do it safely to where we're not going to create a fire hazard. And again, the dynamic key control must be installed by a professional. So again, those are some of the options. Again, it creates creativity uh, with creating your design element uh, with the fireplace. And again, it is an option on the Vector Series. So if you didn't want that, you're going to get radiant heat off the front of the unit. And it does come standard on the Luxurious Series. So hopefully that answers some, some of your questions about what the dynamic key control is and why it's so important to follow the appropriate install steps with this product. If you have any questions, you can call or text our staff at 805-952-5440. Check out all of our products on our website at blazingembers.com. Thanks for checking out this video.